Let us have a look at this question which came in IAS uh, economic, op economic optional 2022. What will be the shape of the aggregate supply curve uh, under classical model and under Keynesian? The okay, classical model is a long run model. So here the assumption is that all factors are fully employed. Labor market is in full equilibrium. So all labor which is there that is fully employed in the classical model. But just think about it. If all the labor which is there that is fully employed and supposedly if there is one sector which is experiencing an increase in demand. So what is going to happen? The producers in that sector would want to produce more in order to satisfy that increased demand. They will be buying raw materials. They will be buying uh, labor. So when they will be buying labor from the other sectors, they will have to pay higher wages to them. Right? So in this way, the production of that particular sector is going to be employed. But if all, if the entire economy is experiencing high demand, then what will you do? Then everyone wants to employ more labor. And all labor is already fully employed. Labor also understands its value. Labor says we will be working only at the very high wage rate. So when the wages are going to increase, producers do not have any choice but to increase the prices. Because entire labor is fully employed, because all inputs are fully employed, there is no way to increase the output. But because of the high economy-wide demand, the only thing is that the prices are going to increase. So in, in the classical model, the aggregate supply curve will look like this. Right? I would rather draw it. So you have so you have the aggregate supply curve like this. Under classical model. So aggregate supply curve is vertical. Aggregate supply curve is vertical under classical model. In Keynesian model, what happens? This is a short-run phenomenon. This is a short-run phenomenon, phenomenon, Keynesian model. So in Keynesian model, what happens is that uh, supposedly there are firms which have issued price catalogs. Now, once they have issued price catalogs and suddenly there is an increase in demand. Now, to make these catalogs again, it is costly for them. Well, they do not want to issue another set of catalogs. That is costly to them. So they will say, fine, whatever the demand is, we will be selling at the same price. Or they also do not want to irk their customers. They do, they do not want to irritate their customers a lot by increasing the price suddenly when the, when the demand is going to increase. So what will they do? Uh, they will say, fine, whatever be the increase in demand, we will still sell at the same price. So because of that, the you are going to sell at the same price, whatever level of quantity. So the aggregate supply curve becomes horizontal. There is one more way, one more interpretation of this horizontal supply curve under Keynesian model. The, the thing is that what happens in Great Depression, that was a time when there was a lot of unemployed labor. Now when the, the demand would have increased there, then the firms know that they have a reserve army of labor. They have the entire unemployed labor with them and they will be employing this unemployed labor and they do not have to increase their wages also because they are ready to work at the subsistence wage. So when the firms understand that they can employ these this labor, this unemployed labor, at the same cost. So they are not experiencing increase in their average cost. When the wages are not increasing, when costs are not increasing, they'll say, fine, we should increase the price. So the prices are also not increasing. They are willing to supply whatever amount at the given price. So this is the another interpretation. So the aggregate supply curve under the Keynesian model is horizontal. The aggregate supply curve under the classical model is vertical. This is a long-run phenomena. This is a short-run phenomena. There is 
high level of unemployment and because of that when the demands are going to increase then the firms will not experience an increase in cost because they do not have to pay them high wages here when the demand is going to increase and because all labor is fully employed so they will be demanding sorry they, they will be employing labor only at the higher wages and because of that they have to increase the prices output is already determined why because all labor is fully employed so output is determined here uh, so this is what so i mean of course there can be uh, some more uh, uh, points also which you can use to improve your answer but this is the basic thing which you have to write in the answer right thank you beta